What's up everybody, it is Daydreams, thanks for coming back to the channel for another video, and today I've got something a little different, and a lot of you guys have, um, been requesting it, because you want to know how to do YouTube and how to edit and stuff, and I was actually approached by, uh, Wondershare, they have a software called Filmora, it is basically one of the cheaper video editing softwares on the market today, and they asked me if I wanted to do a sponsor video with them, and I was happy to do that, you guys know I'm always, um, always down for a sponsorship, so I went ahead and did it and it's going to help you guys out as well because a lot of you want to know how to use, do YouTube. So if you want to learn then this is probably a good step for you. Now to record I use OBS. It's a free software. I'll leave the link to that in the description as well. It's a free software. You just start recording and stop recording when you're done. And then once you do that you get your file. And now here's our file. Um, to get it in here all you do is you go to your OBS folders and then you just drag and drop. Most of this is just drag and drop. As you can see, you just drag and drop. So now that we got it, this is our intro. We also drag it in here. And now we've got our intro. You guys have heard my intro before. Here's the intro. It's right here in the video portion of the, of the layers. Then here is my video. Now, we have all this like blank time and that OBS screen. And we've got to cut a lot of this stuff out. So right before I start talking, we're going to come here. So we got to... Just hit pause. Then you come here before the... You can see there where the voice starts. And you just hit snip. You just uh, you just cut it. And then you cut it out. It's right here. The little scissors. You just hit that. And now it's going to be flowing together a lot better. Now, what Filmora wanted me to show you guys is they have a new pack. And it's a gaming effects pack. And it has music, text credit, filters, overlays, elements, transitions. And all this different stuff you can put in there. And here's the good part. is All this is copyright free. So you can put it in your videos. Uh, you pay for it when you buy the software. I think it's around $50. So it's a lot cheaper than um, Sony Vegas. Which is like a $600 software. And I'm not sure what... Um, Adobe Premiere costs, but I know it's hundreds of dollars, so it's definitely one of the cheaper softwares that you can get if you want to get into editing your videos. A lot of people don't edit them, and you don't have to edit them, but if you want to edit them, this is how you do it. And then, here's some gaming music. I haven't listened to it yet. Let's listen. So here's some free gaming music you can use. And then, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other effects they've got. So here's another, some of the gaming effects. So if we want to put like an intro in here, we just go here to the text. We go right here. Then you double click the text, and that's what usually pops it up here. Okay, so instead of saying game over, we're going to have it say Filmora. And then of course we're going to position it in the middle of the screen, and we're going to hit OK. What the fuck is this? Uh oh, we just had cursing in a sponsored video. That's not good. So you can see this is like a little intro there. Let's go a little further into the video and we'll add some different effects. So, here's some filters. Now, to add like stuff, you just you just snip an area that you want it to be done in. So we got that area snipped. So it starts here and ends here. And then we're going to put a pixelated... We're going to put a little bit of pixelation over top of it. So if you want to do like, um, I don't know, like you could have like text here right now. And you could just make it, you know, you just, you just change it up. And, uh... Let's take a look at some other stuff that we can do. Here, let's see what the other pixelate looks like. Like, pixelating is good sometimes if you want to, like, in the middle of your video, kind of, like, put some text in there or put a picture and then it pixelates the background so that way you can't see it. That's basically a lot of the time that you want to, um, when you want to pixelate or add a filter like that. As for overlays, overlays you can use in a lot of different situations. Let's take a look at some of the overlays that they have. So, here's the squiggly line overlay. Let's see what that looks like. Holy shit. This is the thing. Okay, so, you know, this might not go good with my Clash of Kings videos, but it might look go good with some of the other videos. And if you're doing like a, like a, you know, project for your family or something, if it's, if it's winter time, you know, you want to get some snow, snowflakes falling down, you can do something like that. But they have all kinds of different elements, overlays, filters, all this stuff, so... You know, you could change it up. You could make it... So this one's taking a little bit of time here. They have hundreds of effects in this uh, software. Which is great because with some of the other softwares, you don't get all these effects. You have to go download them. And you have to know how to do that. And it takes a lot of time. And basically what I'm saying is, is that Filmora is probably the most user-friendly editing software out there. You're not gonna... It took me a long time to learn how to even get as good as I am with, uh, Sony Vegas. Now, you could turn this collar down a little bit and just add those, uh, sun rays on there. 
Hang on. That was getting a little loud. So yeah, you can change things up, do them how you want. They've got the different elements as well. Here's the 8-bit gamers um, elements. I mean, they've got different things. Like, you can add these different um, ships and stuff on there. But, if I was going to add any elements... I would probably pull in something a little bit different like if I was talking about thunder I would put in the rejected if thunder tried to scale me it would say that when I was done I put a rejected stamp on there so you can put different all these different stamps badges and then they've got tons of different things and here's transitions here's um, something that I use I don't use enough that I need to start using because people do like like transition so we're going to split the events and then we're going to put a transition in here i'm not sure what we're going to use yet let's take a look so here's the gaming ones um out of the gaming ones let's see which one would be better for me this one says aliens i don't know what it's going to look like i'm a little nervous to try it out but here scroll up so let's try the aliens one we'll see what it looks like okay so we got it in there it goes right before the splitted event. Let's go ahead and play it. Okay, so that's like how you transition from one part of the video into another. Like if I'm in a hive attacking, and then I want to transition back into like gathering or at an event or something. Just uh, that's how you just switch things up a little bit. Or with the transitions, split screen. That's a little bit more advanced, and I've never really done it. But I guess there's sometimes that you could uh, split the screen up. Let's go up here. Take a look. So, split screen something that you're probably never going to use. Let's go ahead and cut that out of there. You're probably never going to use that, so I don't really need to show you that. But it's there if you do want to use it. So, there are so many different ways that you can edit videos. And basically, you could just, um, you know, play around with it a little bit. Find the different overlays you like. Find the different um, transitions you like. Find the different texts that you like. There's a lot of different texts in here. They're not just these gaming texts. They have these texts look all I think even better than the gaming text. Um, so let's take a look at uh, some of these texts. And it's just drag and drop. It's simp It's very very simple. And if you guys want me to show you a guide on how to use OBS as well, because OBS is what I would recommend um, to record with, and then you can use this to edit with if you want. Um, and you don't have to edit your videos if you just want to put them up raw you can editing them is just what's going to take you to the next level like I've been working on editing a lot and I've been trying to like l Watch tutorials and listen to stuff on how to edit and I'm not very good at it yet But I am getting better and I know the different you know things about editing and most of the editing is just time You just w have to want to put the time into it and honestly editing is what is going to pull you away from the pack You could do as good of a skill hits as you want you can do you could be as good of a player as you want, but if, if the editing is what's going to separate you from another person, because if someone comes into Clash of Kings with some bomb editing, it's going to blow me out of the water, and I know that. So that's why I'm trying to learn how to do some bomb editing, so that way I can be at the top of the game, and that's what I'm trying to do. And if you guys want to try out Filmora, like I said, it's around 50 bucks. The link will be in the description. You guys can go check it out. Um, let me know if any of you guys use it. They do have a free tutorial. I'm using the free tutorial now. And they allow you to do um, a certain amount of videos with the tutorial. And then you can put it in whatever file type you want. Like WMV or MP4 is what I would recommend. And then you said export. And that is how you... That is basically how you... Um, that's basically how you use the software so it appears that i think that you have to buy it to actually render but you can download it play around with it see if it's something that you're gonna like and then i think you can purchase like a trial period if you want to uh start rendering stuff let me let me test it real quick again so i can make sure because i i want to be for sure on that so yeah it looks like you have to it looks like you have to okay no it's letting me okay it's letting me it's letting me download it without buying it so I'm rendering right now without buying it. So it lets, it lets you do a little bit without buying. So that's pretty cool. That's a good thing that they give. It's like basically like a, you know, it's a guarantee. If you don't like the software, you don't have to buy it. And then you can either not edit your videos. Um, they might, there might be a cheaper softwares out there. I don't know of them. This is probably the cheapest one that I've, I've found uh, because I was looking at a lot of them when I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. But here's all the different texts. You can see they have a lot of different texts. And some of these texts actually look pretty good, like, like this one here. Let's go ahead and play it. See how it comes out at you? 
Wow, I would like that for my videos, honestly. That looks really good. It looks a lot better than the text that I do in my videos. And that's because Sony Vegas, they make you do all that yourself. They don't have a text that comes out at you like that. You have to actually, you know, you have to scale it and you have to do a lot of editing to make it do that. So that's what I mean by they have user-friendly aspects to it. Let's try a different one. They have so many different texts. And look, it comes out at you. Like I could put Tips and Tricks by Daydreams. That would be pretty cool. Actually, I might actually do a, a video in Filmora. I'm going to edit my probably my next video in Filmora. So I can show you guys what a finished product would look like. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to download Filmora, please check them out in the description box. You guys know I appreciate anybody that's willing to sponsor me and support this journey. So thank you guys so much. Please smash the thumbs up button. You know I'm going to need it. Teamwork makes the dream work. I'll see you guys later on with a Clash of Kings video. Peace.